Hello, Taku Fushoshi and Anime Curious. My name is RandomSama613, and this is Anime Opinions. This week I'm going to review an anime that came out in the spring season of this year, and that is The Hentai Prince and the Stony Cat, colloquially known as Henneko. <laughs> The story follows Yoto Yokodera and Tsukiko Tsutsukakashi and their dealings with a supernatural entity known as the Stony Cat. It's a romantic comedy series with some fairly heavy supernatural elements, which really helps break up what I find can generally be kind of a uniform genre, unfortunately. Uh, it still has the standard romantic comedy tropes, it has the, the harem elements, but they aren't as pronounced, and it revolves more around the stony cat and the dealings with it as opposed to the harem elements that are present. The generalized premise is, as I said, it follows their dealings with a super with the stony cat. Uh, it does the stony cat does different things depending upon the statue of it that you pray to. The first one that is probably the biggest one that creates the most plot and as one of the major plot points, will take something from you that you don't want and give it to someone who needs it. So it in it takes... Uh, the, the big thing is that it takes uh, Tsukiko's facial expressions and gives them to someone who needs them. And, it happen, and I'm not going to say who it is, because it does tell you. But that makes, her, that, that makes her the stony cat, because she has no facial expressions. That's a major plot point throughout the entire series. I thought it was really well done. The story was excellent. It's multiple arcs. It follows primarily uh, Yoto Yokodera, but Tsukiko is a major, major player in it, as is her sister, and another girl named Azuki Azusa. And with this entire cast, it does an excellent job of telling the story of what's going on and making it a great romantic comedy. But it also has some great dramatic moments, and the, the development of the characters is excellent. It was never boring, and it was never repetitive like some harem romantic comedies can be. Another great thing about this is the animation style. It was gorgeous. I haven't seen anything similar to it. I'm sure there are anime that follow the similar style, but I like the way that they did the eyes, especially. There's no real way to describe it when you watch the, uh, the opening that I had. When you watch that, you'll see exactly what I mean. But yeah, the animation was gorgeous. There was like one little thing that bugged me, and that was how flat the line between the nose and the mouth was on profile, but that's kind of minor. That just bugs me from an aesthetic standpoint. As I said, the characters are excellent. The interaction between them is great. Uh, I love the interaction between Yoto and Tsukiko. It's one of the best interactions in a romantic comedy that I've seen in a while, even though it's fairly standard. Uh, the interaction between Azuki Azusa and Yoto is also excellent because she's the typical kind of tsundere character, and he kind of just lets it fly over his head. It, the, Yoto seems to be kind... He, he's called the hentai prince for a reason, but he lets a lot of things just fly over his head, which I think is hilarious. Him being just completely oblivious is excellent. As I mentioned earlier, the opening theme. The opening theme is excellent. I listened, watched it every single episode, all 12 of them. I usually, out of the first three or four, will skip it. Watch it every single time. I uh, didn't watch the ending, unfortunately. It didn't pull me in in the same way. I didn't think that the music was as good. It's still good. I just didn't enjoy it as much as the opening. The plot twists is another really big thing that got me. They just they throw some stuff out of left field, and it's great. The ending is excellent. The way that they wrap everything up, how they explain what's going on, because there's some inconsistencies in the story that they explain. And it's part of the plot, which makes it great. I had a really hard time finding anything that was bad about the series, which is telling because if you've watched any of my previous videos, I can usually find something. The only thing that I really found... <sighs> I'll, I'll say bad, but that's not really the right word here, is the lack of complete finishing. Because at the end of the series, there's still some plot points that were never tied up, but I think that that has more to do with... There's probably more in the manga and or light novels. I'm not sure. I haven't read them. But, from what I can tell, there is more, because they don't resolve everything. They resolve most of the major plot points. So they don't leave you on a major cliffhanger, and it, it ends really well. So, if they only do 12 episodes, it's tied up, and it's happy, 
and there's not a huge problem with that. So I do recommend it. I recommend it highly. I really think that if you like supernatural elements in anything, this is good for you. If you like romantic comedies, I think this is a great way to go as well. It's not your typical romantic comedy like, say, I'll use Negima as an example. I find that Negima can be a little bit generic, unfortunately. Uh, I know that, for the most part, uh, the animes have been kind of okay. Um, I can't think of anything else right now, for some reason. None of them are coming to mind. But I think that it breaks up some of the tropes, but at the same time keeps them, which is one of the more endearing qualities of the anime itself. But what did you guys think? Have you guys watched it already? If you haven't, I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below, because I'm pretty sure Crunchyroll has it, as it's fairly new. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I posted a post on Tumblr recently telling you basically what my review schedule looks like and what the fall anime schedule looks like. It's going to be a little hectic. I'm still deciding what format I want to go with for my first impressions because I have six anime that I'm watching this season. So I don't know if I want to release six videos or if I want to release a couple at a time or how I want to do it. So if you have any ideas, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I will read them. But... I'm Random Sama 613. This has been Anime Opinions, and until next time, watch more anime.